Hey everyone, thank you so much for all the comments. I just thought, you know what, it's probably better to give you a personalized message and say thank you for igniting my spirit. Um, that's one of the one things that I really try and protect dearly. Over the years, I've gone through so many different adversities, financial, physical, emotional, I mean, you name it. The one thing that always gets me through is my spirit, because that's one thing that people can't take away from you. And even though I had this crash, which, you know, it's one of those, oh my God, I can't believe that happened moments. I mean, I'm still sitting here laughing about it because it was a 50 kilometer run and I hadn't been on a bike in five years. I didn't understand the disc brake technology. So there was a hindrance for me. I should have did a little bit more research about that. But at the same time, because I crashed at like the 45 kilometer mark, I had the most amazing day. I mean, breathtaking views, wonderful, fresh smelling forests. It was just spectacular. And so even when I crashed and it hurt like hell, I was actually killing myself laughing going, oh my God, I can't believe that this just happened. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. What like? But that's life. You know what? That's life. Stuff happens, good or bad, whatever it is. You know what? At the end of the day, if you protect your spirit, there's always a funny thing to everything. So just laugh about it and protect your spirit. The word spirit to me is actually means super prosperous ignition ritual involving trust. And I always trust myself to say, okay, I did most of the right things. I wore the helmet. I mean, my face could have been a lot worse. I could have broke my nose and lost my teeth and, you know, became blind in one eye, but I didn't. The other thing is, is that I could have wore gloves and I didn't think, I thought, who, who, why would you wear gloves? Well, now I know why you would wear gloves because, man, if I didn't, if I would have had gloves on, my hands wouldn't be like beat up to crap, right? But at the same time, you know, all I ended up with is a lot of bruises and a broken arm, which again, it's not at that really bad spot. So I don't have to wear a cast and it's only right here. And I can actually lift my arms today and so the bruise that you see here, well, I have several of those everywhere, uh, but at the same time, my spirit is intact and I'm going to recover through this. So you know what? That's the one thing you always got to remember through any adversity is that protect your spirit and trust in yourself and one step at a time every single day.